It is so cold here. Oh my gosh. It is so cold. It's like 34 degrees outside or something. And oh no, wait. Okay, I'm sorry. It's 47. But the wind chill is absolutely insane. So it says it's 47, but it feels like 39. Oh my God. It's so cold. It is so cold. Listen. We move to these places so we don't have to deal with cold. Although I'm getting tired of, I know I actually have my, <laughs> well, here's my, here was my thought process behind that. My, whenever I stream or play any games or anything on my, um, on my PlayStation, it heats up the office. So I was like, the office is gonna get warm, but I do have my sweater here <laughs> just in case. <laughs> so yeah. Although I feel like I saw something on the sleeve, but such is the life of a mom. Like, who knows? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I have a sweater here. I'm prepared. But like, it's not 40 degrees in my house. I think it's like 70 degrees in my house, maybe. I think so. Look at all you guys contributing points to these community challenges. I should have made them cost so much more. I meant to like prolong it over a period of time, you know? But I don't know, it looks like we're gonna be doing some of these things in a really short time. I see DJ and I see Purple. Hayes, how are you? Um, your decal is in the mail today, just FYI. I see Alex contributing, I see you, I see you. I see John, how's it going, John? Oh, listen, have you ever had a cake ball? because cake balls are some of the most delicious treats ever, but they're like sugar bombs. They're so sweet. Oh my goodness, they're so sweet. Just like all of you guys. <laughs> hey, and we have Boyaki, how are you? And Mactastic, who says our high tomorrow will be six. Six, like just one six. That's insane. I can't even, everyone. I cannot. Then good news, everyone. <sighs> I cannot even. Dad Bods, thank you so much for the resub. You say, all right, you said you're a cheap date. Where are we celebrating our one year? I personally vote sushi, but I'm open to other other ideas. Our one year, like our, oh, like our one year sub? Um, uh, where do I really like, you know what? My favorite restaurant to eat at is called Papacitos and it's a Tex-Mex restaurant in Austin, Texas. It's open, owned by like the Papa family and they own a bunch. There's like Papacitos, there's Papa Do's, which I guess is seafood. And then there's like a Papa's Steakhouse or something. 
That's where I would say. That's where we're gonna go. I'll see you there tonight. Oh, but it's pizza day! Can't be tonight, because we gotta have pizza. <laughs> I cannot believe that your high is gonna be six, Mac-tastic. That is not Mac-tastic. That's terrible-tastic. That's terrible. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, it's Grandpa! Thank you so much for the alert, Grandpa. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, I am, I'm sending warm vibes your way. <laughs> Purple haze is like, I wear like two shirts, two pairs of pants. I, like I said, I'm feeling just slightly chilly right now, but I know my office will kind of heat up. It usually does because I'm talking and because I'm, I don't know, because my computer generates a little bit of heat and my PlayStation generates a little bit of heat. And so it'll all, it'll all get, it'll all, uh, you know, it'll, it'll get there. You've never had a cake ball, John? Oh. I wish I could ship them. I really do. But they're kind of hard to ship because you have to keep them cold. <sighs> Although, do they have to stay refrigerated if they don't have... I mean, they're baked cake with icing mixed in. I wonder if they have to stay refrigerated. I think the only reason I put cooling blocks in the package I sent my brother was because it was summertime. And so I didn't want them to melt. And they did melt just a little bit. But like, if it were the winter time, hmm, that is an interesting question. Scorpio says, uh, polar vortex is on its way here too. Yeah, man. <sighs> I'm not ready. You know what? We kind of are ready though. Like we got lot, we've stocked a lot of um, uh, firewood and we we did a big grocery order a couple days ago. There are a few things that I could probably buy right before the weekend, but it's supposed to get really cold um on sunday night so we're making chili in the crock pot on sunday um and uh that's when it's supposed to get really cold and then of course monday is a holiday so charlotte won't be at school but it's supposed to be like i think that the temperature is supposed to be 12 degrees monday morning but with the wind chill and everything it'll probably feel a lot colder so but a high of six oh, that's terrible that is terrible um Hey, it's Zybotch! My vote is for the ball pit of McDonald's. <laughs> you know what? I actually haven't seen a ball pit in like a public place in... Play places don't have ball pits anymore. At least, at least not our play place. We have, um, uh, we have a play place that has, you know, lots of like climbing things, but there aren't any there. I haven't seen a ball pit. I haven't seen a public ball pit in forever. I thought about getting the girls a ball pit because I thought that would be kind of fun. But then I thought of the mess and the cleanup and I thought, mm, just kidding. I don't want to do that. Mm. Just had to get my, just had to get my hit, my fix in. Okay. Here's how you make a cake ball. A cake ball is you bake a cake and then you cut the cake into you let it cool and then you cut the cake into pieces and then you like crumble the pieces together so you crumble up a totally baked cake and then you mix in an entire con cart uh, container of icing roll them into balls and then you dip those in white chocolate dark uh, dark chocolate milk chocolate whatever so it's unbelievably sweet but they're so good they're so good but i can really only have like one at any given time because it's like too much. It is too much. And then with the Metroids, you have little M&Ms on there for the eyes. I'm not a nut person, so I don't love the cashews, but I use the cashews for the pinchers, but I don't eat them if I'm actually gonna eat them. We were in Synthwave colors, but look, Boyaki's like, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some. <laughs> I love the colors though. I always love the colors. Hey, it's Parvis. How are you, Parvis? Uh, yeah, so, um, today's pizza day, so happy pizza day to everybody. Um, and, uh, I don't, yeah, I don't think they do ball pits anymore, but I could be wrong. I liked ball pits, but, like, I can totally get it. I can't, I, I totally understand. I can't imagine trying to, like, clean up a ball pit if there was an accident in it. Oh. So, yeah, I don't know. I haven't seen a ball pit in a really long time, at least not a public one. Mm. Wait, wait, wait. I'm having a memory. I feel like there was a ball pit in a place called Catch Air. 
where we took Charlotte one time, but that was, oh, gosh, that was before we moved here. So that was easily over five years ago, but there was a public ball pit in that. But it was one of those like indoor play centers to just tire kids out, you know, pay like $8 for the day. You can go home, you get like a stamp or like a wristband or something. You can go home, take naps, come back, spend like all day there. Uh, and um, Charlotte loved it. She had a really good time. But the problem is if you take one kid there, your kid wants to, um, <laughs> your kid wants you to play with them. Now it's easier because we can take a little friend for Charlotte and they can go off and play on their own. But I'm not, I can't fit in all like the play placey, big circular, like climby things. I can't fit in those anymore, nor do I want to. So we, we did join an altitude park. We joined like a, a trampoline park last summer and that was really fun. Um, or no, it was two summers ago because there's, where do you go when it's a billion degrees outside? You go to the trampoline park. It cost me and not, it, 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 yeah, yeah, watch mama, chase me mama. Like that's all you hear when you're at the thing, unless you bring like a little friend. Um, but it cost me the same amount of money to sign up for a membership that it, than it was going to cost me to have Charlotte jump for two hours because we'd been invited there by a friend. And so I was like, I'll sign up for the membership. And I did the membership for like three months. It was $10 a month. I did it for three months and then I canceled it once school started. It was actually really great. Although... That was um, something that we did when Auden jumped for free. I don't think it's, I think it's $10 a month per kid. But I don't know, it's probably worth it when you're stuck inside all summer long. It's kind of like your own lockdown when it's so hot outside and you can't really go anywhere. And even being, but being in the water is too exhausting and too like, it's so much to go swimming. You have so much stuff to do or to bring and prep and get ready oh, and all, everything. And then all of a sudden, like you get out of the water and everybody's cold and hungry and wet. And then you have all this laundry to do. And I would rather just pay the $20 a month for three months to go take my kids to a trampoline park. Downside of a trampoline park is the fact that they could break a bone. <laughs> so Boyaki says, as a kid, I was afraid a ball pit would work like quicksand. You know what? I actually don't really... Um, I don't really blame you. That can be kind of frightening. I can I can definitely see that. I can see that as a small child being nervous about that. Hey, it's Scarecrow. Uh, John says, what do you think? Should we add a ball pit to the activity list for SusieCon? Everybody should pitch in one package. You can buy them on Amazon. One bag of like balls for a ball pit. What do you think we could all could like how many, how deep of a ball pit could we make if everybody contributed their own bag. Hey, it's Jane, happy pizza day! Pizza day. Um, and Hayes, you're not wrong. Uh, cake balls are probably some of the sweetest things I've ever eaten in my life. Very first cake ball I ever had was um, at my stepsister's wedding. She made all the cake balls herself. We had cake balls coming out our ears in the house. They were everywhere. They were in every freezer, every, it was crazy. And, and we had like an outdoor freezer and an indoor freezer, she made all her cake balls to try and save money, and I don't blame her. And they were so good. They were so good. I couldn't stop eating them when I went to the, the reception. They're so good. And then, like, the United States, I don't know if the world had this issue, but, like, the United State, um, the United States had, like, a cake ball obsession for a while, and all these little cake ball shops started popping up, and you could start buying them at uh, Starbucks. And they're really, really good. They're really good, but they're really rich. Super, super rich. I one time made cake balls or cake pops. Cake pops and cake balls are the same thing, but cake pops are on a stick. So they're, I don't know, they're cuter, I guess, whatever. You can make them more smooth because cake balls, you have to kind of put them on like a baking sheet and you have to be careful with how much chocolate you put on them, or else the chocolate will just kind of pool around it. But cake pops, you can make perfectly circular and not have any like drippage or anything like that. Yeah, a cake ball is when you bake a cake and you crumble it all up and then you mix all the cake crumbles with a, an entire carton of icing and then you make little balls out of it and dip them in chocolate. It's ex it's just as delicious as it sounds. It's amazing, but you have to be careful with how many you eat. Um, but I made a cake, I made a bunch of cake pops one time that looked like little watermelons. So I used white cake, no, I used red velvet cake and then after I baked the cake, I put little mini chocolate chips in there when I mixed all the icing in. And I used cream cheese icing or frosting. And then um, I, so it made it look like there were little seeds. And then I made the little cake balls and then I dipped them in white chocolate first and then green. 
And then, so when you bit into them, they literally looked like the little rinds of a watermelon. I saw that on Pinterest one time. It literally took me like three hours because from start to finish, I bake, I made the cake, baked it, crumbled it, made all the cake balls. So for the stream, if I make Metroid cake balls on stream, I'll make the cake beforehand and then we'll just like do the crumbling and the mixing and all that stuff. And it won't, you know, it's totally fine. Are we saying Susie will swim in a pool of balls for 10, for 1 million community points? <laughs> I, had to, I had to left leave getting my dog inside or out of the freezing cold. Hurts your boy lady parts. Yeah, it hurts all your parts if you're outside in that cold for too long. Mm. Or as Chain says, or you can just pour sugar and syrup in your mouth. Truth. Hey, it's Dee Scheidler. Oh my gosh, I hope you stay safe. Um... Yeah, I hope everybody stays safe. I don't know. Um, I don't know what kind of where I, I kind of sort of know where people are located, but we're not necessarily supposed to get snow. We're not supposed to get any precipitation, um, but uh, it's just supposed to get really, really cold. So that's why I'm not as worried because we don't have any precipitation. We don't have any rain forecast. And I feel like I missed something. Everybody should get 10 bags. <laughs> Go big or go home. <laughs> there is an upside to jumping. I know. <laughs> Charlotte really had a good time when we went to the went to the place, but um, the, like the trampoline park. But um, I just I you do have to be really careful. Um, <laughs> Dad bots is like I'm gonna make Ava a ball pit now. I mean, I know you can. Um, I know you can. <laughs> the reverse burlesque show. I haven't forgotten about that. I do love that idea. Um. Uh, I, uh, just hope everybody stays safe. I know it's supposed to get cold. It's supposed to get crazy. My sister drove home in the craziest. My sister's lived in Utah all her life. And she drove home the other night with the craziest, in the craziest blizzard she's ever experienced in her life. And she took a video of it before she actually started driving. And then she got home and sent us like a, what is it? Like a, you know, a, a voice memo or whatever. And was like, this was the scariest drive of my life. I'm so glad I'm home. This was absolutely terrifying. I have never driven in a whiteout before. It was really, really scary. So, hey, it's chaos. We don't have a snow, but, oh, we don't have snow, a uh, snow. We don't have snow, but, for, but low 20 for the next few days. Yeah, we're supposed to get down to like 12 degrees Fahrenheit, but we don't have any like water in the and it's a it's a holiday on Monday, so like me and Charlotte and Auden don't have to go anywhere. I highly doubt anybody's gonna be booking a fishing trip that day either. So my guess is we'll all just be snug as bugs under rugs in our house. So the poll spoke, and today we are starting um today we are starting Firewatch. Just FY all your eyes. I have been told that there is some heavy themes. And that there is sort of a kind of sort of some kind of cartoon, something kind of some inappropriate imagery at the very beginning. So I am going to rely on um, uh, people who have played it before. Oh, Grandpa sent me the prompt I'm supposed to look for. Seriously? She was just laying down in her bed, acting like she was ready to go to sleep. And now she's sitting up and she's petting one of her stuffies. Artistic nude, yeah, whatever. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I'll put probably like a, like a blur. On, oh my gosh, first of all, I went in to add some new commands and they got janky when I tried to, I don't know what I did, what was, what the matter was with them. I think it was in the way I edited them. I didn't use a video editing software. I just trimmed them straight from like the finder window in my MacBook. I have to redo them. So I was putting in those, but have you, okay. This is like the biggest meme right now and I love it so much. So I loved I'm it so much right that now. I totally added. I hey, added Michael. this to happen whenever there's an alert. I hope it works. I haven't ever been able to actually like try it because um, I, they're two, they basically like go off on the same trigger, but they're two different actions that happen on the same trigger. I couldn't make them all happen at the same time because of the time discrepancy. Uh, actually, now that I think about it, maybe I could do that. But have you guys seen Toothless Dancing? It is one of the greatest things I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> if you have not watched the video, it is hysterical. So I decided to add Toothless Dancing to my screen because I absolutely loved it. 
<laughs> it's it's toothless from how to train your dragon so there's this like animated short going around right now about how to train your dragon like in condensed kind of like the tears of the kingdom in you know like a couple minutes or whatever <laughs> there's a bunch of that in alabama um it's probably uh, so i put it on look at him go and then he does a little jiggle little scoot 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 oh my god so it popped up on my Instagram the other day and Auden literally must have watched it over a hundred times. I just left it on repeat and she watched it all while she was watch while she was eating her lunch. She sat and ate her lunch and it probably took her 20 minutes and she watched that on repeat the entire time. Just the little short of like the whole how to train your dragon little short. It's probably like 45 seconds long and she just watched it on repeat while she ate. It was so funny. So that is going to be an addition to my alerts because I thought it was hilarious. Oh my gosh, I loved it. Yes, Scotland forever! For the longest time, I was like, I cannot figure out what he's saying. And then the more I watched it or the more I heard it, I was like, oh, he's saying something about Scotland or whatever. Oh my gosh, it was absolutely hysterical. So anyway, we we love we love dancing wackadoo toothless right here. <laughs> Hey, it's Jay! Oh, Jay, I hope you are also safe in the snow. I really, really do. I hope everybody stays safe in this snowstorm. I'm kind of worried about people. I am... Um, Charlotte will play Journey on a Sunday. Because she can't... Wow. Unless we hit the... Well, no. If we can complete the... Um, uh, if we can complete the channel point community reward she can do it on monday when i know a lot of people have monday off but if not she'll do it on a sunday for sure so here's what i'm thinking um i'm thinking we will i'll put a blur on my okay let me add one here i'm gonna add a blur here on my screen So we're gonna not, oh, whoops, 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 whoops. Um, and uh, when it comes time for this kind of artistic inappropriate thing, I will blur the screen just so I don't, <laughs> just so I don't, hey, it's Collector! Just so I don't get into trouble slash offend anybody or whatever that way it's only me seeing it and i don't have to subject anybody else that feels uncomfortable with that if you know what i mean so um i'm gonna kind of sort of rely on you guys i did not actually click on this on the pro oh wait so grandpa posted a pro a picture of a prompt and I didn't click on it because I didn't want to I didn't want to spoil things but at the same time I should probably know like what I'm doing. Uh Also the Courage the Cowardly Dog game looks like great fun. Um oh I think it's in the gaming backlog. But I just am throwing that out there right now that where is it i don't understand where this happened um i just want to throw this out there right now so everybody's aware that there is potentially there is or not potentially but there is some kind of inappropriate imagery and we will move past it together we don't need to be gross about it or crazy about it i'm going to blur it out anyway but um just want everybody to know that before we actually get into this <laughs> yep this pixelated me it's where you're prompted to pick up the journal okay good to know i was looking for that and i couldn't find it on my phone um jay says funny thing we only got about three inches where i am at my and my job is closing early i just got done shoveling and putting tarps up on my back porch to make a little shelter for the stray cats in the neighborhood Happy pizza day! Oh, the pick is in general? Oh. Got it. Okay, sweet. All right, well, let's do this then. Let's get started. Um, and I will 
blur the screen. Okay, as always, you guys are gonna have to let me know kind of like how the volume is for the game. I'm gonna go quieter rather than louder for now. Um, actually, I just realized. I don't wanna do the work today. I don't, I don't really, really wanna, wanna do, do the work today. today. That must be Land Rider! Today. Land Rider. Yeah, I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. Oh, that was, those, that was. Okay, I hear wind. Got it. <laughs> when did the Doom monsters show up? Okay, I've heard wonderful things about this game. Don't really know what I'm getting into. I have no idea. But I've heard great things about this game. Nothing but great things. So. Oh, and it's probably first person too, huh? So we're going to have to slow the camera down so it doesn't make me sick. I'm pretty sure I made a post about this game when I finished it that gave me hope for single player experiences again. Oh. Okay. Oh wow, this takes place a long time ago. Oh, like a, I don't wanna say a long time ago, but I just mean a while ago. I see. okay. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. You. You're pretty. <laughs> A long time ago, as someone born. I know. I literally thought it in my head. I was like, don't say that because you're going to make somebody mad. <laughs> I just mean, I thought this happened in like, I don't know. I thought this happened. I thought this game took place like kind of like these days, like in the 2000s or whatever, but. Okay, I'm going to go off of the you you are the problem <laughs> even if somebody were to be drunk and say you you're pretty i don't know if i would i don't know if i would really go for that you slur the word major and it smells like coarse you give an awkward smile evolutionary biology she says and i'm a professor cool you reply what's yours she asks she sniffs the air Toxicology? Was that a burn? You ask. She says, definitely. Worried she hurt your feelings, she asks if you want to split a cheeseburger. <laughs> One week later, you're Julia's boyfriend. Boom! We did it! We beat the game! That's it! Everybody go home! Awesome! Okay, hold on. I need to... Possibly invert the, the Y axis axis. Oh, yep. For sure. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. What is this bowl? Were you born in 70s, 80s, 90s? I was born. Well, okay, that's that's a question. That's an interesting question because I was born technically in the 80s, but it was like 1980. Well, I guess that's technically the 80s. Okay, I have to invert the y-axis. I'm going to display subtitles because that's always helpful. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Volume, 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 volume. Display subtitles. Autosave. Toggle head bob. Okay. Oh, no. I don't know if we can actually, like... slow down the camera. Oh crap. I hope I don't get motion sick with this game. Okay. I just have to be really careful. Okay. R2 to use objects. That is a backpack. Okay. Oh. Oh shoot. I hope this game doesn't make me sick. Sorry. 
See, I was born 85. So I feel like I didn't get to really grow up in that era. I feel like by the time I was ready to like go out and be a kid, it was the 90s already. The 80s was also, was a fa indeed a fabulous time for music. I think the 70s was a fabulous time for music. Um, I love 70s music. I love funk. It is great. You don't even have back on your truck, dude. Your backpack's gonna fly off. <laughs> you date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. <laughs> Life is good. Which means something bad is gonna happen. Okay, so we get a good, we get a dog. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this. Nope, we're getting a beagle and we name him Bucket. Bucket the beagle. Definitely not a German shepherd, I'm sorry. I don't have anything against German shepherds, but I would probably never own a purebred, like a pure German shepherd. I think Stixel has some in her, but German shepherds do kind of make me nervous. Bucket's a good dog and a week later, you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. You love him too. All I remember the 80s was finding out I had a baby sister on the way. <laughs> then it was the 90s. <laughs> I don't mean purebred. I guess I kind of mean purebred, but like they're also just very big and I'm not one to have a gigantic dog that size. A beagle is definitely a better size for me. 1979, you talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30 PM, and the heat still radiates off of the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Kids, they're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple little idiots, that would be pretty good. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I'd like that, you say. These kids are gonna be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. You say she's absolutely right. I do agree with that. Not recommended for inexperienced hikers. No fireworks. I can get behind that. <laughs> Nothing against German Shepherds. Just don't speak the German. Do not speak the German. It's more all the hair and the size. <sighs> I can't do it. I'd really, really, really love... Um, uh... I'd really love a golden, but I just can't deal with all the hair. 1980. Okay, this is a year later. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. 80s! 80s forever. We got 70s, three in the 70s, two in the 90s. Yeah. She is four hours late and she doesn't call. Wow, that is crazy. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. I would probably get mad. You call her an inconsiderate a-hole and she tells you to screw yourself and to not be such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it and it hurts her feelings. Well. Okay. 1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. <laughs> you frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. All right, FYI all your eyes. We are getting to the tough part apparently. Mm, I'm going to say you pose and flex like He-Man. You look awesome. I 
I'm worried about what this tough part is. Can you guys hear the music okay? I mean, it's quiet, but... Two forks. Music's good? Okay. Hop over. Beep. Hey, DJ BJ! The cheeseburger walks into a bar. The bartender says, sorry, we don't serve food here. <laughs> oh, that's great. That is definitely one I've never seen before. That's fantastic. Okay, so 1982. So we met in 1975, right? During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Bucket gets kicked. Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confront the attacker. I would scare him away. You reach into your pocket like you've got a gun and threaten to kill him. You manage to scare all three of you. He runs away. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say, okay, you don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. I'm also kind of thinking of what Ander would probably do and Ander would not, would not beat a guy up. He would, he would try and scare him away. He would really try to stay away from violence at all costs. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job, associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Oh, it's such a tough situation to be in because That's hard. It's 2,000 miles away. Okay, so we're not talking like just a, just a drive. We're talking 2,000 miles. That's a lot. But I don't wanna just convince her not to take the job. That's a lot of travel. What do I do for a living? Why do I get to decide? Oh, oh, it sucks. That's a lot of traveling. Okay, I'm gonna try and convince her to, not, to take the job. You tell her that this means you two won't have a family. She says that's crap, she's totally right. She, is, she asks if her taking the job means you won't come with her. You say yes, again, totally bull crap. But she decides not to take it. My wife and I had to do that for a couple years. That was a challenge for sure. Ooh, I'm sorry, Mactastic. That sucks. She decides not to take it. Julia is asked to leave Boulder on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she'd happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. Absolutely not. We should talk to somebody about it. You can't. That is where so many problems start. You gotta tell people things, be honest with things. After seeing multiple doctors and many, having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She's 41. Oh my gosh, that's awful. Jane's like, um, I'm moving to Connecticut. Absolutely. Oh, here's the journal. Okay, all right. I'm gonna click blur for a second. Here it comes. Okay. 
Um, I'm gonna blur the screen for a second. Oh, that was the volume. Sorry. <laughs> or that was on my that was on my end. Okay. Okay, we're gonna blur it for a second. Journal. I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh no! <laughs> he man. <laughs> okay. All right. I see what you mean. Um, it was definitely, it definitely could have been so much worse. <laughs> Bucket is getting older. Julia comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. That's true. An older dog is usually a well, more well-behaved dog. A week later, she goes back to the university. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She's sent home on permanent medical leave. Oh, dad bod says my old friend's dad just passed yesterday from Parkinson's and dementia. Dementia. He was golfing last summer. I got a message last Friday that he deteriorated like crazy the last two months. I don't wish either of those diseases on anyone. What an awful way to leave this life. I watched my mom suffer and my mom didn't have dementia. Although I do feel like as time went on, I do feel like her memory was getting worse, but it certainly wasn't bad enough to warrant that. I guess I should probably talk to Ander, my bishop. Hey, Padawan, how are you? Oh, that's awful. She sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family. They are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten her day. She gets worse. You spend the days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple months. As a person who had to take care of my own mom, who wasn't even that bad, I would move her into a facility. It is almost impossible to take care of somebody else when you have, well, I guess they don't have children in this situation, but it's almost impossible. It's not feeling like a Friday anymore. It's really not. What the heck, you guys? D. Scheidler says, my uncle got Parkinson's and dementia and he died a few months ago, leaving my cousins orphaned. They're adults, but oh, that's awful. That's so awful. DJ BJ says, my grandmother on my dad's side had Parkinson's. Yeah, it was really hard watching, watching my mom suffer from that. Yeah, this doesn't really feel like a happy Friday anymore, but I kind of sort of assumed that it was going to be kind of a happy but also sad Friday. At least we have dancing toothless. <gasps> Can I take a picture? Nope. Susie, we were there with you for your mom trials. I know after all this time, it's still not easy to remember. Yeah, it was... It was really, really hard. Her family agrees with your decision. You find a fantastic place in Boulder and move her there. You see her every day. Then every other day. You go out to the bar with your old friends. It's not the same. You get the feeling that every wife tells her husband, if you ever put me in a home like Henry did, I will cut your balls off. You slowly decide to not see your old friends that much. 
I feel like only people that have not had to actually deal with that situation and actually put somebody in a home to be taken care of, you just don't get it. You just don't, you just don't understand until you've actually been in the situation where trying to take care of a person like that becomes such a burden that you just, you can't do it anymore. Also, I kind of agree, Chaos, but I just watched the, I just watched the poll and I was like, all right, well, I just, that's what everybody voted for. So if I cry, then I cry. Mactastic says, I would struggle with shame if I put a loved one in a facility, but I know I don't have the strength to take care of someone with dementia alone. See, and my mom didn't even have dementia. Wow. She just, um, oh, thanks, Chaos. That was so nice. It was like, no ads today. No siree. Um, yeah, you, you just... I don't know. It, it, I definitely went through periods of like the idea of putting somebody like the idea of putting my mom into the facility that she lived in and passed away in, um, was like horrifying to me in the beginning. But after having my mom live with us for three, for four months and then move into a, a duplex right around the corner from us and then live there for another four months and literally call me every single day and ask me for things all the time. And when I was, um, I, I was also pregnant at the time and my mom was like, well, when is your, when do you think your morning sickness will go away? Because I need you. And I was like, I have a life here. Like I have a child and I have an unborn child. I'm trying to, I'm trying to stay alive. I'm trying to stay like, it got to a point where I was like, screw all the guilt and shame. I feel you have to be in a facility because I can't take care of you. And it finally reached a point where I had to be honest and I had to say, I don't want to take care of you because I have other things I have to do. I cannot make this my life. Uh, this is not, this is not my job. You know what I mean? Anyway, it, it was, my mom and I also had a really complicated relationship because of her living with me and everything. It put our relationship in a really weird situation. And like I said, we, I know that this is some heavy stuff, so. Julia's sister Susan moves to Boulder to be close to her. She visits her every day. You go with her some of the time. Susan's buy, Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you don't want, if you won't see a therapist. You won't. You've always really liked Susan. Months go by. Bucket dies. Julia doesn't remember him when you tell her. Sometimes it takes her a minute to lock in on you. In the back of your mind, you believe it's because you see her less and less. And seeing her less and less makes her forget you more. You think. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. My condolences to anybody that has to struggle with somebody losing a loved one to dementia or even... Well, yeah, losing a loved one to, de to dementia can be the same thing because even, even when, well, this is actually something I kind of had to deal with when my mom, I was just thinking about this the other night. I thought, you know, I said, I kind of lost my mom a long time ago. Like I physically lost my mom last August, but my mom has been gone for a really long time. The person who raised me hasn't been there for a really long time. And that's, that was kind of a sucky thing to realize. <laughs> but that was one of the only ways I was actually kind of able to like say goodbye and let my mom go was I was just like, this isn't really my, my mom anymore. It hasn't been in a really long time. My mom is... Who likes good news? Everyone. <laughs> Who likes good news? Good news hey, everyone. Chapa! Thank you so much for the sub. Oh, man. This is some heavy stuff, man. Just FYI, there's some heavy themes here. We're talking about early onset dementia. So just FYI. It's hard for some people. Yeah, 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 and it's Martin! Yep, this was what everybody voted on. And now I'm going, right after Brothers? Really? Really? I know, it's pizza day, and here we are talking about such sad, sad situations.
DJ BJ says, that mom on my dad's side, she passed in 2007. I think part of me died that way too. Yeah, I I honestly, whoa, 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 whoa. We had a hype train? That's what I get for not putting together a hype train. Oh, did you see Dancing Toothless? Oh my gosh, it worked. Toothless dances every time there's an alert and I love it. He's so cute. He's so cute. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for the hype train, you guys. I didn't even realize. I have it written down. Hype train. Alert. It's right there. Gosh dang it. I just haven't. I think about it sometimes, but it's just not. I can't. I need to find the right. No. It has to be this way. It needs to be perfect. I have to find the exact right thing. And I can't animate, so I can't make a Kalulu train. Collector's like, y'all are really something for voting on this one. <laughs> I've been meaning to play it forever. Like, I really have been, but might as well, might as well get it, get it done, get her done. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Hello. Two Forks Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. Oh. Hello. It's me. Oh, L2. Hello? Oh my gosh, thank you guys so much for the bits! Wow, I am so... <sighs> Just verklempt. I still think Hype Train should trigger Jimmy Barnes. <laughs> yeah, but I get... I get copyright claims when I have Jimmy Barnes. Um, hello? <gasps> this is? It's right. Yeah, boy. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. Oh, I didn't realize you would like hear yourself. So, what's wrong with you? Thank you. Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't. I'm sorry. I got distracted. Thank you so much for the bits, collector and choppa. And I think it was dad bods. Can I, then can I? Sleep forever. Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. I like you, Delilah. I like the cut of your jib. Have the music part only play on stream and not get saved to the VOD track. Oh, I guess I could technically do that. What is a gronkle? You're just gonna wait me out on this? Ugh, fine. But I'm okay, sorry, Delilah. I, I need but to. Nine times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. Huh, is that it? Close. <laughs> is that Good night. it? <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job. Okay. Day one. <laughs> I just had a Law and Order dun dun in my head. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. I just got distracted. I thought I had to actually like click a button to respond, but I didn't. It's Mac. Good morning, Henry. Well, it's Mac. You know, it's Mac. You probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I'm gonna try this out. I can your desk, so call me when you're ready. <laughs> I can see you at your desk. Greetings from Wyoming. Hey, that's like the same like Gravity Falls, you know. <gasps> Here's a photo with Julia that I can't pick up. Okay. Oh my gosh. Collector! <laughs> By the way, I have Collector's shirt done and I just have to take it to the um, he ordered a, um, uh, the, the still, still alive, um, uh, portal t-shirt and I have it done. I just have to take it to the post office. I was going to take it earlier today, but I cannot find Auden's shoes and it's freezing cold outside. And I was like, I can't wow. take you out on, I cannot take you to the post office when it is 35 degrees outside. I can't do it. Oh my gosh. Chop a wow. I... I am so, I am so honored. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for all those subs. That is so kind of you. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> um, uh, and, uh, 
I am sending it in just a regular manila envelope. Like that's all I had on hand. And I didn't want to go to the store and actually buy any more packaging because then it would just take me longer to ship it. So I was just like, whatever. So it's coming, but it's in a Ziploc bag inside just a plain manila envelope. I hope that doesn't like get damaged on the way that it shouldn't. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Level four? Good day in the morning, you guys. <sighs> Oh my gosh. I've got to come up with something to... Okay, wait. Um, okay, I have like a little stove. Got bleach. Honey, where am I? Pants? Do I actually have to get dressed? <laughs> am I wearing pants? Oh, I am. Okay, that's good. Yes, I am also wearing pants. Can confirm. Um, can confirm I'm wearing pants. Thank you guys for the hype train. <laughs> Examine. Original suds. Okay. Oh, I have a feeling. Space puffs? I have a feeling this is gonna get. Map, table, okay. Yeah, I imagine if I look down and surprise, there was more nudity that nobody told me about. They were like, I know what would be really funny. Oh, you mean the Gronkle wow. from uh the, oh yes, okay, the How to Train Your Dragon. Yeah, look at him go, look at him dance up there. I love his little dance. Oh my gosh, it never gets old. It's so funny. I've lost control of the Groggle. Thank you, Hayes. Thank you so much for uh, contributing to the hype train. <sighs> yeah, I gotta figure out something. That's why I haven't done an alert yet, because I haven't figured out what I want to do for the alert. Like, I haven't. Wait, what? Oh. Hey. Sorry, guess I slept in. Like, I know I need to make an alert, relaxing, what, but I just, I, it, nothing is good enough. Yeah. Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. I would love but to sleep for 14 up, hours. Let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? I do. Locate the round thing. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the What the heck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, crap. <laughs> Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? My- My what? My west-facing window? Where? <gasps> My west facing window? Oh, I use the compass. Confirm. Do you see them? Um Oh, wait. What? Where how, how does a compass work? Seriously, are you seeing? <laughs> Hold on. Thank you guys so much for the hype train. I am so 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 overwhelmed. I just can't even Uh, oh, I just I I love you guys so much. Wait a minute, how, do, how does it... Oh, yes! I confirm. Henry. Yeah. I see them. Oh, lower compass. Yep. Confirming them. I see them! Wow. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, 200 no. more bits? Oh my gosh! Wow. Right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fire. Wow! This is, is that really my job? I think this is the I don't even I think this is the highest I've ever this is the highest hype train I've ever gotten. I wanted to see a five. We're gonna go down and set them straight. Um um do I have like a water bottle? Yeah, I can. Take my backpack. Okay. Sorry it's not in the job description. Wow! 
just go down there. Okay? You guys are being so kind. Is this like tex Tetris? You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. Oh, the on the way. Okay. Code is one, two, three, four. It's actually that for all of them. Why did we? Okay. I think I've never had a level five hype train. True, true, honestly. What is the highest level of hype train? I've never, I don't even, I can't even. Textress. <laughs> oh, read map. That's helpful. We need to go. Okay. Old Twitch cuts nose. It goes to infinity. There isn't a cap anymore? Really? There used to be a cap? You know what? This game heard me. I hate fireworks. <sighs> That's not true. It's not that I hate fireworks. I just get annoyed with fireworks when they are used improperly or when they are used in dangerous conditions like this. Why can we not just follow the rules and keep everybody safe? I'm fine with fireworks as long as they're done safely and as long as they're done within the law. And people can sit and argue with me and be like, uh, uh, but it's only twice a year. No, no, it's not. It's only two nights out of the year. No, it's not. Because people start doing it a week before, the week after. It is not just two nights a year. And you shouldn't be doing them out in the middle of a place like this. Fireworks during a snowstorm. That sounds great, actually. I would be down with that. Can I walk any faster? <laughs> a level 19 hype train? What? That's crazy. Well, I appreciate the hype train so much, you guys. What? Oh my gosh, it just keeps going. <sighs> it just keeps going and going and I don't even know what to do. <laughs> yep, I was a January 1st Karen. I was like, eh, I don't like fireworks. But I was also like, dude, like fireworks are a hazard. We're in a wildfire zone and they're illegal and you're in a neighborhood with a bunch of people that have little kids. Like, come on now. Okay, it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, open, says me. No. How do you open it? Oh, that's how you open it. Go, 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 go! I, I'm, I am totally speechless. I don't even have any idea what to say. I feel like saying, wow, you guys, that's amazing. Thank you so much. So many times is just, just gets, I gotta figure something out. I gotta, I can't do a confetti cannon, but I gotta figure something out. Mm. Rope. Deal with whoever is setting off fireworks. Yeah, so I don't love the bad language in this game, but I also knew that it was probably, it was kind of going to be here. So apologies. I don't talk that way and I don't want anybody to talk that way in my chat. You guys all know that and you guys do a great job and I love you all for it. Okay, so they're this way. There isn't a language filter? Um, maybe there is a language filter. I didn't see one. Oh. Settings. I don't want to mute it. Yeah, doesn't say that. Yeah, sometimes they do. Whoa, 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 whoa. I am... I... Okay, I'm going the right direction, right? Like, I'm walking toward the... Oh, that is helpful. I was like, are we moving at a glacial pace? Seriously, it's literally like taking a bunch of dollar bills and just 
throwing them in a fireplace and setting them on fire, in my opinion. I don't get that much glee out of setting off fireworks to be able to, to fork out the money, especially in this economy. I'm like, why? That's insane. They cost so much money and they're literally just incinerating dollar bills. That's all you're doing. Whoa. What? Oh, attach the rope to the hook right there. Yep. It's steep. Okay. Yep. Uh-huh. How do I feel about flowers? Um, I like flowers. Nope. I thought you were talking about the game flower made by the same people that made Journey. That game made me so emotions. <gasps> well, that sucks. Delilah. Who likes good news, everyone? Then Thank you so news, much for the everyone. resub, Chaos. Thank you so much. Report, report climbing incident. How do I do that? Hey. I fell. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Hey there, Delilah. I just fell off a cliff face. <laughs> it's a bad situation, and I might need you to send me... Uh, okay, west. Any thoughts on the current state of Twitch? Mostly thinking about how the platform is losing exclusive creators and shedding jobs. Oh gosh, I didn't even know that. Oh, you mean like flowers, like buy a, like for a gift? Oh, yeah, flowers are not, oh, there's another thing that I could, nope, my rope snapped. Um, like flowers are nice, but I do kind of agree that they are purely aesthetic and that they just die. These cliffs down here is something. I'm not super partial to flowers because I feel like these days you could just you can just buy pretty fake flowers that look really, really nice. And I feel like that is probably good enough for someone like me. But yep. hey there, Delilah, I just fell off a cliff face. We got level five hype train, you guys. You, all of you guys on pizza day, level five hype train. And I love you all so much for it. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. It helps me and my little family, my little fam family. I guess I don't have to run on the side here. I can run down the trail. Stomp it out. Dude, this is totally a fire hazard. Look at all this dry grass. Yep, there they are. Look at them. Bundle of fireworks. L1. There's a can of burr. Oh, I can rotate them. I'm gonna confiscate. Heck yeah. Crumpled beer can. We're cleaning it all up. This is my job. Firewatch. Cleaning up after freaking adult children. Maybe they are teenagers. I don't know. Probably not. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> um. Uh, magic missile! Um. As far as the state of Twitch, I honestly have no idea. I haven't heard anything about it. Um. Ferritor Irish. It's like, hmm, safe for later. Oh, Henry. Yeah, I do know. I did know that you liked to drink. Henry Boben, Bo, Henry Bobenry. I don't know anything about the state of Twitch. I'm not really sure. Um, I heard that they changed something about um, Pizza Hut buffet. We actually have a Pizza Hut right at the entrance to our uh, to our neighborhood. Are they like sleeping on rock? Okay. 
Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Uh, what if they're naked? What if they're naked? Idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. Okay. They're setting off fireworks? Naked? <laughs> I don't love dominoes. Oh, snap, y'all. We found a bra. <laughs> I can hear it now. I can hear some girl going, <laughs> tossing her bra behind her. I hear music. Twitch and Discord are laying off staff. I hate it for the people involved, but it sounds like it's due to overhiring. Oh, well, I guess that's kind of true. If you're gonna... <laughs> I would not pick those up with my bare hands. That is a bad situation. Found them. Freaking you guys. You can be my lucky star. No, it's more like, I think we're alone now. Hey, Chelsea. Yeah. Oh, it's two girls. Well, stop breaking the law. You're gross. You're just some sad man out in the woods. <laughs> I was just watching a clip of the, who are they, the Californians? Oh, I should throw it in the lake. No, I shouldn't because that's like damaging actual property. Oh, they're gone. Bye Choppa, thank you so much. And thank you so much for all your support. I appreciate that so much. I hope you have an excellent weekend. Well, look, if you can hear me, try to get back soon, okay? It's getting that's, late. That's right. I have to, like, I can't, I have to re respond, like, on time. Seriously, that reminds me of, um, Madonna. I think we're alone now. That's not Madonna. Doesn't seem to be anyone around. Okay, we're making it back to the... Susie is playing a very silent protagonist. I mean, he just doesn't seem to have a lot to say, which is fine. I don't know what that's like, but I guess I can run. Better jog, my dude. Let's pick up all these people's messes. They should be fined. Find them. That's my bone box. You're probably just a sad man that lives out here and works out here. <laughs> <laughs> Hey there, Delilah. Your ghetto, ghetto rope just snapped. Good thing I didn't die or end up handicapped. You know it's true. It'd be one heck of a lawsuit. <laughs> I'd get that loot. <laughs> Man. Girls, I've been drinking a lot of beer. <laughs> I think they're the Californians from Saturday Night Live. <laughs> it's a day in the morning. And, and seriously, like, it's just so dangerous to, to drink that much and then set off fireworks and then be like, hey, I'm back near that big rock. Uh, be like out near water and stuff. Like, come on, girls. How do you report the meadow? It says report meadow. What does that mean? What, how does, how do I do that? Chelsea voice. <laughs> what are you doing out here shooting off fireworks? <laughs> How do I report the meadow? I don't understand. Oh, it's the name of this. 
Are you serious? <laughs> if I use the radio button, it just says, hey, I'm kind of lost. No, I think that's the name of it because I think collector's right because it told me the name of the lake. Okay, wait, what did she say? I think I remember. Oh, I remember coming this way. Okay. Oh, you don't have to hold down. Okay. I remember coming this way, for sure. Oh, shoot. Oh, it's the same. Oh, yeah. Okay. How the fruit am I supposed to get back up? I fell. Oh, it wasn't even a cliff face. Come on, Henry. Um, rapport. <laughs> oh, I'm not going back the same way? Oh, I guess that's true. Hey there, Delilah. I'm going to get lost in the woods. I'm going to end up being bear meat or something. Okay, wait, what did she say? Okay, okay. Delilah, I'm sorry, but... I am lost. Old climbing gear. That can confirm. That's climbing gear. Go back to the report meadow. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so from these rocks, where do I go again? Go back towards the lake, turn north, and east through the canyon. There should be a trail at the far east side of it. Go back toward the lake, turn north. Ow. And then go east through the canyon. Okay. Back toward the lake. <laughs> You're just a sad man. <laughs> hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay, go back toward the lake. Turn north. Trail sign. Oh, two forks. <laughs> ah, that's where I'm headed. Okay. <laughs> I got it. Got it. No, that's not You're My Lucky Star. That's a different song. This is... Henry, this is dangerous, yo, to be out here, like, by yourself. I know you got Delilah on the radio, but, like, how's Delilah going to see you? when you run into a bobcat. For real. Seriously. Heck no, I couldn't even see them. <laughs> They're like way out there. That's my box, put it down. <laughs> Just stop setting up fireworks. I'm not real. Just kidding. Oh. What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. That's true. She was a little pushy. She was like, why are you out here? <laughs> Tell me your life story. <laughs> what are you running from? What are your deepest fears? <laughs> Cool it, Delilah. Am I supposed to go this way or this way? East. Okay. Oh, I forget. I have to, like, respond to her. <sighs> this is my bum box. Is that a storm? Oh, my. Nearby storm. <laughs> report meadow. How do I report meadow? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Huh. I am bad at this game. That was either a storm happening or that was another firework. No, that is 100% a storm. Okay. Oh, there's another one. One, two, three, four. Copy information. 
doesn't even do anything. He just flashlight. Yes. Oh, beans. Ah. Okay. And a horn. There's a horn in here. <laughs> a horn or an antler or whatever. <laughs> well, antlers are made of bone and horns are made of the same stuff as your fingernails. I guess this is a bone. <gasps> antler. A ranger must have found it this way. I didn't know that. <laughs> you couldn't have put it back in the box, Henry? Come on now. Good gracious. <laughs> it's okay. The worst thing that could happen is that you could die. <laughs> totally. Terrible, terrible death. Okay, well, the fact that I just got a flashlight. <gasps> oh, this is a bad situation. 100% bear lives in this cave. Maybe not. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Cave is closed. I'm actually okay with that. I think that's fine. It is nighttime. Antlers can fork and be shed. Horns don't. <laughs> that also makes sense. Okay, well, I'm still going east. This is bananas. There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Yeah, I came out of this cave in a canyon, and he was just... Creeping? He's gone! Like he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's... outside. Come on. She's messing around with me. And people come and go as they please. It's... it's... it's madness. <laughs> it's... Yeah, yeah, okay. I get madness. It. Outside. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. No, it is not. Actually, I'm going to disagree with Delilah on that. I would pee my pants if I saw some random person standing up there with a flashlight looking right at me. No, 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 no. <laughs> Aliens. Can confirm. You don't like talk, talking to Delilah? I just forget Delilah is there. I forget I have to respond in a timely manner. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Gonna jump, we'll do a little jumpy jump. Well, he's still wearing what looks like a wedding ring. God, there was a freaking creeper guy standing right here. He was staring. He was staring at me, and it was creepy. It wasn't just like, hey, I'm just some guy off like looking at things. He had his flashlight on me, and he was watching me, and he was looking at me. And then he moved away and he disappeared. So, <laughs> Delilah. Man, it was so much easier to get down to the lake. Holy moly. So much easier to get down to the lake. Goodness gracious. We used to have Delilah. I don't know what happened to her. I don't hear her anymore. <sighs> well, oh look, there it is. Oh, there was a bunny. No, maybe that wasn't. I do remember Delilah though. Bear tooth. Is this an outhouse? I think I'm okay for now. Okay. Fireworks. I have a bone to pick with that radio DJ. She's on the radio in Chicago and gives advice. <laughs> How dare she? Is this my typewriter? Used to have a Delilah chained up in the attic. Is 
Somebody has been... Oh, it was probably those two girls. That's all take time to take my bum box. I am not down this. Someone broke in. Hey, what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. I've never, um, I've never had... I don't think I've ever had anything actually, like, I've never had uh, anybody break in to, like... The place is trashed. Okay, I put in a call. But I imagine it is the worst feeling. Knowing all your stuff, people have rifled through all your stuff. Mm. Coffee percolator? Do you have any idea who would have done this? Yeah. The two freaking girls that I interrupted their the girls at the I lake did probably piss off the girls at the lake. Ugh, fuck them. Well, I'll have the Rangers keep an eye out for a couple of young women and question any they find. I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some what violent campers. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. I don't feel safe. Well, I sure don't now. Yeah. You will. I, I promise. Yeah, I certainly wouldn't feel safe, and I wouldn't be surprised if it was the girls by the lake just because they got mad uh, because they were drunk and setting on fireworks. People can do all sorts of things when they're inebriated, and they shouldn't, and <laughs> you will. I promise. I'm going to kill those girls. Boo! Delilah! Awesome. We're drinking whiskey. Hey, Sunrise. I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm, I'm here. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? What's your problem? Our problem. <sighs> Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out and that's not working either. Cool. That would be the case. Should I be worried? About what? We can't get help if we need it. Oh, you're tough, Hank. You don't seem like the guy who likes to ask for help. Sure. What I need you to do, though, is <laughs> sure. to the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? You probably had to hike through a cave yesterday to get home. Uh, yes. I did. So you're going to want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. My name's Henry. <laughs> okay, wait. Um, uh, Jay says, my wife called Delilah when we were dating, and Delilah told her to get out of the relationship. What? Um... Oh, if there's a little radio on the screen, you can talk to Delilah about it. Okay, good to know. Um, Delilah is the Scully character to your molder. I told you it was weird. No, it's not. There's a rational explanation. <laughs> Scully. I'm sorry. Um, is Delilah like a l licensed therapist? <laughs> problem i killed those girls like you asked and now we have to get rid of the bodies <sighs> okay 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 there's our bundle of fireworks a 
looks like, oh, I was going to say, looks like my window is fixed, but no, it's not. Okay, okay, okay. Does this game save automatically? Oh. Easier to get a divorce than deal with the problem. Definitely seems to be the consensus these days. Why do you jump down like that? You must be tall, maybe? Okay, there was a cave? Okay, where... How do I look at my... Oh. Okay. I need to find the cave. Whoops. Medicine wheel? Cash 306. Cave. Okay, so I have to go to the north. Right? No, but this is... that's where I am right now, then I have to go to the north. But that's not where I came from last time. You need to drink the stolen beer. <laughs> Leave no evidence behind. This is this where I... Oh, I guess I am going in the right direction. Okay. Oh, there's... Oh, okay. Yep. So I followed this. Got it. Why would you go forward? Henry! <gasps> yeah. So I have to get back to the cave and then keep heading to the north. I just couldn't remember where the cave was. But it is down. Okay, so it's to the left. Hank Henry is restless. Slightly curious about the person that was standing there watching me. Definitely don't like those vibes. He's wearing a wedding ring. He's wearing a ring. Looks like a wedding ring. Seriously, you're asking for an accident, Henry, and you're out here all alone. Power lines are down. It's not like Delilah can magically send somebody to help you. You need to be careful. Need to be more careful. We're also just drinking whiskey. Oh. oh it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Uh, you know, um, I don't know. I used to just spend a lot of time with our dog, Bucket. Aw, that's a good name. Bucket! He was a good dog. What type? A beagle. We got him from the pound. That's great. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. sure. I'm just gonna keep... Hiking and hoping it warms up. Okay, so we have to go through here. I don't think so. Why have you? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Who's she talking anyway, to? Bucket's a cute name. You, um, you owned him with someone? Yes. This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. 
Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so... Maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Uh, that's too bad. I used to go caving in Colorado a lot. So <laughs> back it up, Hank! Back it up! Nice to pick that back up. Fond memories, huh? Big time. I'll, uh, I'll keep an eye out for those keys. Don't hold your breath. Wait, but aren't I supposed to go through there? I'm mega confused. Oh, maybe I don't have to actually go through it. If I can just come out one side and then... Go st straight north this way. Oh, I thought I had to go through that area. Oh my gosh, put everything away. Okay. Henry! I think I am slightly suspicious of Delilah as well. Somebody isn't telling me something. Oh. And I don't like it. I don't necessarily think that she's like out to like hurt me. Like I don't feel like I'm in danger necessarily. But I just don't I don't no, she was talking to someone. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, I am going in the right direction. Okay. I don't think he knows. Knows what? Hankry. <laughs> I'm hankry right now. Okay, I'm going to keep following this path. I think so. Yeah. So I'm going to check. Um, also, I love this dude is taking a job in the Rockies and being surprised it's cold in the morning in shorts and a shirt. It's like, it's cold here. Yeah. You're in the mountains, my dude. Oh. This looks promising. Also kind of scary, but I don't know. It just seems... So I have to report if the power lines are down. Wait, am I in the right spot? No. Survey communication lines north of the canyon. I mean, aren't those communication lines? Uh, so I'm following those. Oh, I see. Okay. They don't look like they're down. Can't tell if I'm going the right direction or not. I think I am. Mystery person. Does he know how fun Doom is? I don't think so. Hearing <laughs> spooky noises. See another cash box. Up yonder. Can I get up there right now? Don't think I'm supposed to go that way. Look, there is a very, oh. Hey, so there are beer cans all over the ground up here leading up the hill. That's annoying. Yeah, thing is, there were a bunch down at that campsite yesterday. Coincidence, maybe? I don't think so. Same brand, everything. It's totally, it's, it's two girls. Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. At this point, I don't know if it was the girls. I really don't know. 
Maybe that's also just coincidence, maybe? There's a reason Delilah had to remind him that the woods are outside. <laughs> Sabotage. What? Sabotage. Long drop down. Seriously? Why? Why would you go down facing forward? I don't understand you, Henry. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. You sound a No. Okay. Oh, this one's down. With beer cans. <gasps> Those panties. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Okay, good. Any sign of those girls? Did they mess with anything? I'll look around. As I see these things. Hey, so the wire is definitely It was down. cut, for it. sure. I think it's run. Exclamation point, run. It doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These run! Okay. Move your little sausage legs! This is how people die? Run! Move your little sausage legs! this was going on. And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not, That's not true. Everything, Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell That's out of That's what I would do. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um... That's a big corn-fed <laughs> Mist Western girl if those are corn, if those are panties. I don't know what it is. Run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am gonna need a raise. <sighs> but I am gonna need a raise. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Well, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. I don't understand people that do this. I don't understand people that get so angry that they would do something so unbelievably dangerous and stupid. But then again, I don't know if it actually was the girls. I, I mean, it seems like it was the girls, and it does kind of make sense that it was the girls because they were drunk and they were mad. But I actually really didn't even do anything. I picked up their boombox and I told them to stop setting off... And stop setting off fireworks. That's all I did. This is case in point. People going, okay, Karen. It's like, okay, well, if you interrupt my fun, even if my fun is illegal, I'm, you're the bad person. And it's like, well, okay, but there are like rules and laws for a reason. And people want to call you like a square or whatever, or call you a Karen. I'm like, well, I think my biggest problem behind all this, the, that, type of yeah okay boomer I don't understand the littering either like come on but the reality is where do you draw the line if you constantly make excuses for things that are actually illegal where do you draw that line then if you're gonna say something like well I know it's illegal but xyz blah 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 like well I hopped down a drop and now I can't climb back up <sighs> mm, that is a pickle I can just keep hiking. That is a bit. I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen before you find these assholes. I was thinking you should probably head back to where you saw them last. The lake. Wherever the lake is. It's just, if you're going to sit and argue with me and say things like, well, it's, I know it's, it's, I know it's illegal, but like with the fireworks and you can sit and argue with me and say, well, fireworks are not that dangerous or whatever, but in the right circumstances, they are dangerous. And so whenever somebody says, well, I know they're illegal, but 
it's only for two nights or it's only for a couple nights or it's only for whatever. What happens is you start skewing the line between what is right and what is wrong because you want to do it. And so you say, well, fireworks are illegal, but I want to do them anyway. Well, where do you draw the line then? If you're going to sit and make excuses for an illegal behavior like that, where are you going to draw that line? That line starts to become fuzzy because it should be there's a law. You shouldn't do fireworks. And I'm not saying you can't do fireworks. I'm just saying don't do fireworks where it's illegal or go find somewhere where you can do them where it's not illegal. Fireworks are going to be the only thing that end up upsetting me. No, it's just, I'm just thinking of these, this girl's behavior and just her, oh, I can just go up over this. Oh, there was another beer can. I'm still on about the fireworks. Hey, it's Sarah. Um, well, we're looking for, Oh, I can't go up over this ridge. Come on, Henry. Good day in the morning. Really? Seriously? Well, we are... Hey, it's Lindsay. Thank you so much for the lurk. I'm still mad about the fireworks. <laughs> still mad about the fireworks. Okay, where's the lake? Can I have a hard time controlling this? Okay. The lake is... Like, way down here. Oh, it's right there. So how do we... So it's to the west. Okay. Nope, just my compass, that's all I want. Just my compass. Lady Glitter Spackle. Maybe I can go up this way. Maybe I can go down this way. Oh yeah. Oh no, dang it, I was gonna say I found a path. I did not. I did not, did not. I'm supposed to go to the west. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, here's another beer can. So many beer cans. Girls. Like, come on. That is so insane. That's so many beer cans. Huh. Fireworks. All I'm saying is when you start making excuses for things that are already illegal, it just becomes easier to make more excuses for things that are illegal. You just gotta, you just gotta be careful, man. I know. Did they just bring like 12, 12 packs? I mean, seriously, there's so many beer cans. So many. I know, how do they carry all these beer cans? Like, two teenage girls? Okay. Lake. This way. How long of a game would you say Firewatch is? Oh. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was uh -huh. lost a long time ago. Well... You could always pilfer it for supplies. That was kind of weirdly cryptic. It's like, well, somebody left a backpack out here. We don't know if they died. We don't know if they... <laughs> Dude, I saw... Oh, I'm flush with ropes now. One of those... That pack was full of them. In decent condition, too. Oh. That's lucky. I mean, there's, there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of Yeah, those I saw one of those little cameras at the grocery store the other day. They're like $30. Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. <laughs> Neato. Nietzsche. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Brian Goodwin. You know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. 
look out. Four plus hours. Okay. He was stationed in two forks, your lookout, with his dad Ned three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Why? Where did they go? I don't know. I never really hit it off with old Ned, and um, one day they were just gone. Sucks. Anyway, so it goes. Have uh, fun with that So camera. it goes. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rock. I so saw one. Sorry, I'm trying to focus on girl, what's huh? being said. Um, yeah, it was like thirty dollars for a disposable camera, and I was like. That seems outrageous for, I'm sorry, can I, how do I, oh, that seems outrageous for in this day and age when most people have smartphones that they can just take pictures from like their back pocket that are way better quality. That seems totally outrageous. I don't know anybody that uses a disposable camera anymore. That was bananas. Yeah, Delilah drunk on the job not a stickler for rules i guess that's true <gasps> i see a fire i see a fire and it's out at the lake i bet how many fire watchers just disappear yeah. Yeah. flowers yeah. Loose stone, fossilized claw. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. Or maybe they're leaving me an entire creature piece by piece. <laughs> Gross. Don't like the look of that. Do I? No, I do not report the stone. Okay. Lake is this way, but I do see smoke. back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. I don't mean that the way it sounds. I mean, I care about people and I like companionship as much as the next person. But why does it have to come from the same person for your whole life? My Aunt Kathy was married to the same Wait a minute, it costs $35 for each of those cameras to get developed, so you're paying for, you're paying 60 plus dollars for crappy quality pictures, that is that is an outrage. Hey, I have a net, Judy. I'd rather spend a week in bed with Sonny Bono than half a lifetime with some cheating stockbroker. To be totally honest, I don't know if I am married. Shoot, I missed my window. Oh, yes, I am married. Okay, yeah, we did talk about it. We did talk about getting married. So we got married. Shoot, I should have said that. Dang it. Sorry, Delilah. Hey there, Delilah. I'm sorry that I missed the reply window. Yeah, that seems that seems like an absolute crime. Hey, uh, Delilah? Sonny Bono. What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle while on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link the fence. A giant chain link fence. Chain link fence? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. That's weird. She doesn't even know about the fence? What do you think they're keeping in? What do they not want to have get out of there? Oh. Jeez, so many things. Demogorgon. Just stop you now. Maybe loads of hedgehogs. Okay. Okay. Never mind. Global hedgehog population. Never mind, Delilah. Where are all the hedgehogs? It's like the for what is it? The bad guys? Oh, this is where I came. That is the real mystery. Really glad I kept you in the loop. Thanks for all of the. High quality information. I forget to reply to her. That's my problem. I just forget that we're like we there's like a limited amount of time that I can talk to her.
Do you think those girls could be behind this fence? Hmm, well, having once been an ornery young woman, the last thing I would do is climb a fence. Especially if I knew I was in trouble. I, I don't even know how I would get in. You'd climb the fence. It's strange that that's out there, by the way. Yeah, it's weird. That's weird. I don't like it one bit. If she doesn't know about it, like, what the heck, man? Zoom in. Okay, but the fence area... Oh. The fence area goes to... The... Well, I guess they technically both go to the lake. We're going south-ish. Streaming games like this is 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 a struggle sometimes because when it's when there's like interaction between chat and everything, it's hard when there's dialogue that happens while the game is happening. That was the same thing that happened with um, uh, Ratchet and Clank. A flapjack. <laughs> Flapjack? Me, flapjack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't. No, I don't. I do now. Well, Burned tree. Bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini. You've got just the name to use. A flapjack. Hey, hey flapjack. flapjack. Why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful. <laughs> We're communicating. We're connecting over. Wow, this is a bad situation. Is this all been burned? Yeah, yes. Burned area. Yes, I got that. I totally got that. Go easy on Susie. She thought this was a walking simulator, not a walking and talking simulator. <laughs> I mean, it makes you feel any better. You're a member of a diverse club of lookouts that have come to the thoroughfare after a breakup. I mean, I assume you went through a breakup. At least that's my best guess at this stage. There was Vernon, whose wife got put away for running cocaine. We didn't break up. We didn't choose to break up. She no. got sick. I, I'm sorry, Henry. What yeah, is come it? on. You can't make assumptions like that. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful. And this face forward. I can't even imagine. Bad. I would never do that. Yeah, sure. Hey there, Delilah. Why don't you mind your own business? <laughs> There's a fire! Thin column of smoke! Uh, I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Camp At least I have lots of ropes. You think it's them? Ropes. I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Okay, so I'm supposed to find the teenage girls. Let me know if it's getting any larger. And... 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 Figure out the s s smoke? Maybe? Do you think nude drunk girls climbed this fence? Probably not. I don't know how I would do that as a sober man. That's actually very true. <laughs> I know. Are they wearing clothes? We don't know. Okay, so if I go this way, I go toward the lake. And if I go that way... I want to go find the teenage girls first. And I'm going to have to sign off in probably about 15 minutes. I would assume they got back their clothes as well. Oh, we got music. Ooh, those camera angles really, really mess with me. When he, like, looks down really fast and then looks up really fast. Whoa. Wish I could slow the camera down. Okay, while he's climbing, I'm not going to watch because it's going to give me a headache. <laughs> he doesn't want to fall on his bot bot. Ow, what is... Oh, I think I ran into... I ran into the corner on the little step thing of Anders boat yesterday and it must have really bruised me. Wow. Okay. Like I literally just walked into it. <laughs> and I was like, "Ow!" 
wall. <laughs> Just walked into it. Oh, this climbing. These first person games really can mess with my head a little bit. But with Outer Wilds, I was able to slow the camera down. Am I going the right direction? Oh, nope. <gasps> oh my gosh, I need to backtrack. Oh, oh, what am I doing? Oh, crap. I need to backtrack. Gee, dang it. I'm going in the wrong direction. Unless the lookout just took the clothes with him. I didn't take anybody's clothes. So. I don't think the girls are naked. <laughs> Definitely don't think they're naked. Okay, so this was the junction, right? Like, this was... Oh, there's the river, but no... Okay, 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 okay. So I need to... Oh, okay. All right. I was wrong. they were naked they would have been a, for a full day in the mountains that's true they never would have survived it especially with all the alcohol they've been drinking bad situation bad situation all around <laughs> delilah needs to <sighs> she's got alzheimer's like um dementia alzheimer's alzheimer's She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? It was pretty devastating. Devastating? Especially for her? Yeah. You understand? And for you? Anyway, everything she worked for was... 41 that's really that's so young yeah i'm sorry to be such a downer don't 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 even i'm happy to listen and you know we'll try to have some fun this summer i promise my drone business oh i keep pushing the wrong buttons Okay, so we're going toward the lake. Am I supposed to be going in the river? I guess we just follow the water, right? Yeah. Okay. Remember when we had to carry maps around to know where to go? <laughs> we had to print out instructions from MapQuest. I don't really remember using like maps really, but I definitely had to, I do remember printing out directions on like MapQuest. Those were the days, but I do remember the days when my parents had a map in the car. Well, I hear sounds, but they sound like animal sounds. They do not sound like people. Did your wife's illness have anything to do with you taking this job, or did you just fall prey to the service's big recruiting push when it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here? Um. I saw the job in the paper. And I figured, just saw it, you know, and I just went I for it. What the heck? I've got no ties and no life. Better go spend what's left of it in utter loneliness. Uh, something like that. Yeah, thanks I wouldn't have put it that way, Delilah. Actually allowed for us to advertise. Oh, on backpacking trips? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> she can go to the Melbourne Comedy Festival and see Jess Perkins and Matt Stewart. What happened last summer? What happened last summer that accounted for this um, windfall? 
Jeez. I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground? Ring a bell? Yellowstone is like, what, 15 miles away? Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years, we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. So that's what they did. Why? You didn't hear about this. There were reports that the entire park was gone. Dan Rather telling the country that President Reagan didn't care on the nightly news. And what the hell's he going to do? Smoke jump in and snuff one out for the giver? So Why would they just the let fire, forest fires burn? No. By the time the Yellowstone folks realized the little fires weren't going to burn themselves out, a hundred thousand acres were gone. It's Yellowstone, you know. People don't want to touch it, but we touch it every single day. But hey, I got thirty cents. <laughs> She's already, Brenda. We can't have another fiasco. Like the goddamn park can burn down again. Why would that doesn't make any sense? Cash. S is it called a safety cash? I don't think it's called a safety cash. Supply cash. That's what it is. Uh, I found a sweatshirt from the University of Eastern Colorado. I guess Maybe that's true. The girls. I mean, it's been here a long time. There's a University of Eastern Colorado? I really don't think there is. Why would somebody make that up? Right, and then put it on a sweatshirt. The world's a weird place. What? I do not believe somebody... What? We're not going to put anything back in the supply cache. <laughs> Just throw it. I have no idea what's going on. I'm have so many questions. Can I swim? Nope. <gasps> That's where the fire's coming from. But how do I get over there? The ducks? Tinder prove book. That's a bad book. I don't want to read that book. Get that book out of my face. Okay, so, yep, there's the book. Okay, there's the cash. Okay, we're going to go see what is the f causing the f fire. And then I have to go wake Auden. I really should wake her, like, right now. But Okay, we're getting closer. Somebody made a fake sweatshirt. So, how'd you meet? Met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. I walked over and asked her what her major was because I thought she was a student, not a prof. <laughs> Smooth. That's, That's right. me. I did make the first move, though. Aw, oh, you were brave. I was drunk. Oh, is this the clearing where all their stuff was? Oh, wait. Oh, there it is. It's over there. Did I miss a chance to respond again? Oh, I'm so, like, focused on trying to get the... Does it say prof? That's a good question. I can honestly say I've never heard anybody say prof. I do not know where... Oh. Oh, what? If I can find this fireplace I don't know how to get to it how do I maybe I came down the wrong way seems like it's so close and yet I can't 
already... Didn't I come this way? I swear, I came this way. Oh, I go this way. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Dang it. Well, I know, but, like, I know where... Oh, campfire smoke. I did not realize that. Oh, shoot. I really want to get to the campfire, but I can't because I have to wake Auden. Uh, games like this give me a headache if I'm not careful. Ugh. And I can feel it setting in because it's... It's those... It's, it's not the moving around, like, me moving around. It's those scenes when he, like, gets up on a rock or something and the camera goes like this. Ugh. So now I can be prepared for those. I can be prepared for those. But it's interesting that they don't give you any sort of options to, like, slow the camera down. But I guess that's just how it goes. But I am genuinely super weirded out by these um i'm just i'm super weirded out a fake sweatshirt and these freaking crazy teenage girls that are clearly drinking a lot and causing all sorts of havoc not to mention how would the girls he said do you think this sweater is one of the girls i don't think it's one of the girls because how would they have gotten inside the cache well, there was a sweatshirt that said Eastern University of Colorado or whatever. And he and she said, is there an Eastern University of Colorado? And he said, I don't think there is. So, like, w how, I guess it's a fake sweatshirt because I think somebody, like, I, why would there be a fake, why would there be a sweatshirt with a university logo on it of a university that doesn't exist? Unless there used to be a Eastern University of, I know, I'm thinking of that in my head. I'm like, I don't trust any of these women that I'm coming into contact with. <sighs> um, uh, how could, That's true. How could they have cracked the secret code of one, two, three, four? Um, unless it's very old. Maybe there was an Eastern University of Colorado forever ago. There's one in The Last of Us. Great. Is this a zombie game that I just wasn't aware of? Did I just not, did I just not, did I just walk into a cross, crossfire, these cross games? Okay, if I, if I hit save game, what does it do? Oh, it just saves it. Okay, good to know. Um, I'm going to save the game here and I'm actually going to, um, wait. Do you really mean that? Like, you mean... Oh, I guess that's true. Donald Duck University. Do you really mean that that was like an Easter egg that they put in the game? When was this game released? Was it released after The Last of Us? I don't even know when this game was released. Like, is that a that Last of Us Easter egg? Or is that... Are they totally unrelated? That's really interesting. Okay, well, I am over... I, I'm super overwhelmed by everybody's generosity today. We had a, one heck of a hype train and I'm really, really, really grateful for that. I appreciate that support so much that helps me out and helps my little family out and helps me take just the teensiest bit off of, uh, stress off of Ander, um, you know, trying to provide for us himself. And, uh, that means a lot to me. And I, I've been, trying to come up with like the right thing and the right alert and the right thing that I should, that I should do for the, um, uh, for a hype train. I just haven't, I just haven't been able to come up with the right idea yet. I have a dancing toothless, but, um, that's pretty much, that's pretty much as, that's pretty much as far as I've, as I've gone. I can't animate or else I would have animated something like Kalulu on a little train or something like that. I'm not really sure, but, um, <laughs> Uh, that was very hype training, man. It was very. So Last of Us came out before Firewatch then. Interesting. Okay. So is that supposed to be an Easter egg then? Then, then I can speak real words. 
Um, so, uh, I just, as always, I just really appreciate everybody being here and, uh, it was kind of a rough beginning, uh, for sure. It was definitely a, a little bit of a rough beginning. Just story I'm with wise. you in spurt. But, um, yeah, my dance, my, my, my dancing toothless. <laughs> Let me find him. Hold on. He's so funny. I love it so much. Oh my gosh. So I added him to my alerts because he is adorable and I love him so much. It's probably an Easter egg, but I don't know if it's ever been confirmed by the devs. Eastern Colorado U is the go-to fictional college for game devs who set their games in Colorado. Oh, well, there you go. That actually does kind of make sense. Spurt. I was hype training in spurt. Well, I appreciate everybody's support. But even if it wasn't like hype train support, I still, you just being here is also support. I appreciate you guys being here and hanging out with me and choosing to spend uh, the middle of your day with me. And um, I am, I am, my goal is to be back streaming on Sunday. Uh, I was able to get Auden down for a nap last Sunday. It was beautiful. It worked perfectly. It was great. And so I should be streaming on Sunday. I will, um, I'll post, post that, I'll post that on the discord. Um, uh, and that would be, that will be helpful because that will help me make it through games because we've, it's, it's pretty clear that we've kind of decided that I've kind of decided to do like a, a little spurt of shorter games. Um, so this is the next one on the list and then we'll do another poll and we'll just go from there. I've got a couple short ones, you know, that I can do. Um, but yeah, I should be, I should be able to stream on Sundays this, this year because our church schedule has changed and now we get home early enough that I can put Auden down for a nap last, all last year, Sundays were awful because I was kind of sort of like by myself the whole time. And I was kind of, you know, trying to hold down the fort and Auden didn't get a nap and Ander was at meetings all day and it was just absolute insanity. And by the end of Sunday, and I, I really could have used a stream because that definitely helps me in that kind of lifts me up, gives me some energy, but I didn't get that last year. And so I was barely hanging on by a thread come Sunday night. So, um, that should happen. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, so far air and Owlboy are actually, um, they're actually tied. So I don't know, but, uh, whenever I finish this, I, I don't, I don't really know exactly how long this will take, but whenever we finish this, we'll do another poll. But, um, next stream should be on Sunday. I'll post that on the discord, but I just really appreciate everybody's uh, kindness and generosity, not only with the hype train, but also just the kindness in chat, the kindness to each other, the kindness in my community, um, making sure everybody feels welcome. Everybody feels safe. This game definitely has more language than I'd like for a streaming game, but I'm willing to push past that language is probably kind of on the lower end of the spectrum as far as I don't, like I said, I don't like the stuff in my chat and I don't say these words myself, but I am, you know, it's one of those things. I can kind of gloss over words like that. So, um, but anyway, I hope everybody also stays safe with the weather that's coming this weekend, wherever you are prep, make sure, um, make sure to, uh, make sure you've got the, the enough water, make sure you've got enough food, all that stuff. Just be, <laughs> thanks collector. <laughs> I appreciate that so much. I really do. I really, really do. Um, I should, uh, tonight when we go um, get our pizzas, I should uh, be going to the post office to ship that shirt. Um, and uh, like I said, I was going to go earlier today and I cannot find Auden's boots. And I was like, I can't show up at the post office with her in flip-flops when it's 30 degrees outside. <sighs> I look like a terrible mom. So um, yeah, yeah. Be safe. Do all the prep that you need to. Um, uh, just keep yourself safe. And I hope everybody doesn't, I hope nobody loses power. And I hope everybody charge your phones, charge backup batteries, get, get all your stuff together. Hopefully, hopefully everybody stays safe. I hope, I hope everybody is okay this weekend. So, um, but thank you so much for being here. And as always, thank you for being a part of my community and thank you for all your support. Um, I appreciate everybody and hope you all know how important you are and how much you matter and just, you just never know what anybody's going through. So always, always, um, choose kindness. I know sometimes it can be hard, but we should always choose kindness. Um, 
take your shower today. It's been a while. If it's been a while, I was just telling my husband that the other day. I was like, sometimes I do not shower every single day because I get busy doing things or whatever. Sometimes I go like oh. a day, you know, I'll shower and then I, I miss a day and then I shower the next day and ugh, it's terrible. It's so awful because I'm caught up with all these like toddler things and oh, it's totally crazy. But um, yeah, I'll see all of you guys on Sunday. Everybody stay safe. And um, uh, well, yeah, if there's a risk that you may not have water or if, like, I hope your pipes don't freeze and all that stuff. I really, really, really hope that you guys... I hope everybody stays safe. So I will see all of you guys on Sunday. Everybody enjoy the rest of your Friday. I hope you have a blessed pizza day or whatever it is you guys decide to do. Thank you so much. Take care, MacTastic. Take care, you guys. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll see all of you guys on Sunday. Be safe. Be prepared. You just can't ever be too prepared, right? So I will see all of you guys on Sunday. Bye.